You're yes. we, gotta, we gotta we gotta do I'm this. I'm starting. Thing. Do All we right. gotta do the right sink? Now. Ready to sink? All right, yeah, I'm sinking. I'm sinking. I'm sinking. Here, Help! I'm drowning. I'm, drowning. I'm drowning. I'm drowning right now. I'm. I'm. Uh, I'm drowning too. Now I'm drowning. Oh no! Oh god! Oh, I better scoop all this water onto Michael. Splishy splashy. <laughs> Take a bathy. He's kind of spitting with that one. Honestly, <laughs> he had floaties on. He's cheating. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, that was the best sink so far. Yeah. Um. Marcos, uh, why have yeah. you been banned on Twitter? What the fuck so, happened? Start with so, a banger topic. Yeah, what the so fuck I, I got banned on Twitter because the other day I shared this really cool polyrath team, and the polyrath had hypnosis, and some Australian dude just reported it. Well, guess what? I'm not taking down that tweet. I am not going to acknowledge that I broke the rules of Twitter. Up yours, woke moralists. We'll see who cancels who. Oh my fucking god! Is that what you that was? Is him? that what that Brady, was? Brady, you reported his tweet. What is wrong with you? <laughs> when the revolution comes, you will not be spared. <laughs> this dude runs Jan Golduck. You know, Jan Golduck wasn't even used by good players. There was this big Japanese tournament that happened the same week as as Milwaukee Regionals, and I saw Hypnosis Golduck on stream, and I went, "Hey." Joe, you know who doesn't run Hypnosis Golduck? Brady. <laughs> that's fucked up. That's Damn. fucked up. Damn, that's who, crazy. Which one of you said that Sing was better than Yawn? That was oh. that was mockers. That was me just okay. now. Okay, no, Here. you're insane. <clears throat> Sing is technically better than Yawn as a sleeping tool. While you may go to Yawn for reliability, Yawn takes two turns to sleep a Pokemon. With 55% accuracy, Sing on average will take less than two turns to sleep and grants possible multiple one-turn sleeps. In this essay... <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Yeah, yeah, I think Landorus, I think you I think you don't run flying move on it just because it's a two-turn move. I think superpower is more reliable. What the fuck are you talking about <laughs> over there? <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm sorry, dude. dude I'm, listen, I'm listen. Running. You have to take a lot of math classes to get a physics degree, so all physicists know for a fact you need to run the 55%. Listen, if it was 50% accurate, I would say, you know what? Maybe I'll run yawn. It doesn't make a difference. But now, it's 55% accuracy. So, if you're gonna, you know, take two turns to sleep something, you might as well go with the one that might sleep it immediately. I'm gonna cry. This is a fucking Ty Lopez tweet, bro. Yeah, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> See, I have, I, have, I have these whole bookshelves behind me right now, each of them explaining <laughs> the statistics of sleep moves. Did you know sleep powder is technically better than hypnosis? However, I don't agree, as the majority of VGC teams include at least one Pokemon with safety goggles and one Pokemon with a, a grass typing that prevents it from going to sleep. Now, if you take that into account with Spore, Yawn, and all these other moves, hypnosis is technically the optimal sleeping move in this cry. generation. I'm gonna hey, cry. Marcos, did you know that if you press up and B on the controller at the same time in Smash Brothers, you can recover <laughs> from one on stage? Stop! <laughs> Yo, I didn't know Stop that, dude. It. I've been playing we've Sora. Been, I've been playing <laughs> Sora. I only know how to side B. I've been playing fucking Smash Bros. Was it you, Michael, who said it, or was it someone else? No, it was Brady. It was, it was Brady. Brady. He's like, he's like, wow, she knows how to, she knows how to smash. And I'm like, yes. No, 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 she knows how to up goes beat. verbatim, word for word. Brady goes, I'm surprised Ash knows how to up B. Out of nowhere, no context. The exact line was. I'm surprised that I know how uh, Ash knows how to out be there. Like, okay, so oh, with no one heard the there. Nah, no one heard the there part, but it, it, Ash I know what you're talking about. You're talking about in this one specific scenario. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah dude, I'm, 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 whatever. I'm surprised <laughs> Ash knows uh, to out be there. But, but what it sounded like <laughs> was so for I don't know how Smash Brothers work. Yeah, I was gonna say that sounds that sounds mildly misogynist. <laughs> I was, no, I, you're allowed to be I, misogynistic I, against me if you're fighting me in Smash Bros. I will pick Dark Pit and I will side B about fifty to twenty times. To be that fair, was Brady, backwards, but you know. To be fair, Brady, um, considering the game that we're talking about and the community surrounding it, I'm sure you're not the first, <laughs> nay, even the millionth person to mansplain Smash Brothers. No, no okay. Literally, no, 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 but now, I, now no, the no, reason no. I brought it up was because now I just keep mansplaining shit like that. So that whole <laughs> I, I, thing I, felt like that. It's yeah. like so the Ash, first what was, time. Ash, what, you know, was the, what, what was it that was happening? I don't remember. We were. It was like. Right, hold on. Let me explain what just happened. So I'm basically, <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Okay. So what? So, so basically, so basically wow. what happened? <laughs> so um, actually. Okay, so uh, Ash was, uh, mind you, keep in mind, I'd little, literally been watching them play Smash Bros. for like over an hour at this point. <laughs> and I've been, okay, 
So she was she was playing Mr. Game and Watch, and if you don't know, in Smash Brothers Ultimate, his up is kind of yeah, fucking busted. It's invincible mm-hmm. on startup, and you can't do wow. shit about it. That's crazy, right, dummy. Yeah. Dude, I don't get it. Everyone's like, these moves are broken. Just shield them. Yeah, I got that a little hard. It was, it was a little hard. I'll tell you what's broken, dude. Grabs. I hate grabs. I can't shield grabs. <laughs> that's my grappled. that's my metric. Can you shield them? No, therefore it's broken. Same applies to Dynamax. <laughs> Damn. Marcus you really would, are a VGC player. Marcus would hate Potemkin. <laughs> Potemkin Dude, okay. From Pot- Guilty Gear Strive? I've, yeah. I've got some stories about Guilty Gear Strive because um, this past weekend, I met up with some friends and I went to Anime Expo. Woo. Of course I did uh, because it's a giant uh, a- expo at the Los Angeles Convention Center. It's very crowded. I'm sure people saw videos. It's fucking horrendous. Anyway, <laughs> I got to meet up with my good friend Bunker there and my good friend Geo there. And there, Arxis had a whole booth. Um, and so Geo, I found Bunker, and then so we were together. And then Geo said, "Go, go to the Arxis booth." And we said, "Okay." And so when we were trying to find Geo, I called him and I said, "Bunker said to meet you offline." Uh, we're in front of the, we're in front of Testament. Look for the non-binary person. <laughs> the big old fucking sign. Is there a Testament cut out? Yeah, there was a big old. It was <laughs> all girls. It was all person. big booby girls, and then Testament. It was so hype. It's literally oh. just like, hi. Uh, look for the seven foot tall non-binary person wearing They're a so top hype. hat. There was I a massive t- uh, the the Mr. Dolphin. I can't say Tutsukeki, right? Dude, but the big if dolphin. I had a if considering the the pokemon dlc Mm -hmm. if i had a nickel for every time i played a video game with a top hat wearing non-binary person i have two nickels (laughs) which isn't a lot but it's weird it happened twice oh avery Avery. ah yeah sorry i played the game with a superior rival yeah. Yeah. No, Avery I just. Pl- no, I like played they, Avery them. as well. I have. I have. I, I, I Avery, those Avery are good didn't characters. have shield Avery enjoyers. Have nearly, yeah. No, Avery didn't have nearly as good of like uh, character design and description as uh, oh, what's her Clara. name? The poison. Clara. Well, as Clara, because Clara's uh, Clara's trainer card, she photoshops to make her butt look bigger. So yeah. Just hilarious. in the background, you see Slowbro warping. <laughs> it's really <laughs> funny. I love that card I, so I much. Like, I love subtle character design like that. Like, Dude. I hope to God that's in Gen 9. <laughs> for all of its flaws, Sword and Shield is the has the best characters in the series. Oh, for sure. Like, like even if you only get to see them once or twice, they mm-hmm. definitely have the best characters. The character yeah. design and just the character animation in Sword and Shield is, like, the best bit about it because... Yeah. Every time I watch the like gym leaders Dynamaxing their Pokemon, like the little animation that plays with them, yeah. like it's so full of character, and you could like not know anything about these people. Watch that animation, go, okay, I know what kind of person this is. Yeah, like the grass guy. Um, I'm I'm slipping on all their names because I haven't Milo? played the story Milo. in so long. Yeah, Milo. So when Milo just like pats his ball, he goes, yeah. "It's like it's okay, Rocky, take your time," and then he yeah. Dynamaxes. <laughs> It's so Patrick. cute. <laughs> yeah, it's okay, Rocky. Take your time. The I can't remember her name. Also, the fairy type gym leader. When she Dynamaxes, the Pokeball's oh, cool. too heavy, and she just fucking falls over. Oh, I love her. <laughs> no, my favorite one is um Honey. Honey has the best. Honey is hilarious. Because Honey just one hand, like she is the most powerful character in the game. She just goes, anyways, like you flicking the wrist, a, throwing yeah. it as hard as she can. You have to pay a Honey fucking could, bajillion dollars for that fight. It adds up. Yeah. Honey could flick you on the nose and you'd go like dragon balling through mountains. <laughs> <laughs> There's just through like 20 holes, through 20 mountains. Why are we getting voice acting so these freaking Let's Players stop being like, oh no, time to fight the first gym leader. I'm going to give it voice acting. Hi there, I'm the first gym leader. I <laughs> that, like, that, that has real? been a thing forever. That's, that's oh, no, real. Lots of Let's Players do that. It's not just a Pokemon thing. Yeah, I know, but it's 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 plagued Pokemon for its entire <laughs> life, and I think voice acting needs to happen. No, so that, we that don't need voice happens. acting in Pokemon because we need more cutscenes like Piers like singing, but you cut out the background music too. I really oh like the microphone God, feedback. <laughs> yeah, like the microphone feedback. No music, nothing. only microphone feedback and footsteps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they could have at least put like some music track behind that, but it was yeah. just there is a music track too. They use it at the end of the game. Yeah. <laughs> 
it, it's, it's it's fucking crazy because you want to know there was singing in Pokemon in fucking black and white too. <laughs> In oh, yeah, two different was. areas, they had Dang Roxy, it. and then they had like that bridge town with all with like the all the instrument people and the Dude, singer. When Pokemon themes have like vocals to them, that shit is awesome. The the yeah. Tapu theme from Gen Seven. Gets us. <laughs> gets us. All I get us is say gets us. Yeah. Gets us. Dude, I really love uh, Giovanni's theme in Gen uh, Gen Seven, like the Rainbow Rocket. His actually has lyrics to it. Oh, I didn't even I don't yeah. even remember that one. It's it's hidden behind the vocals, but it goes, Holy shit, it's Giovanni. What <laughs> the fuck is Mega Evolving? That's how it goes. That's how it goes. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the the shits and fucks are in it too. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, that's crazy like, for Pokemon games. Like, yeah. I don't think they should ever Very progressive. Put, like, make like like one of the like the background tracks have vocals. I'm more so saying like voice acting in terms of like what the trainers are saying yeah like in the overworld you know what i'm saying that'd be crazy i'm picking imagine up putting saying. budget into the video game that is from the world's largest media True. franchise that'd you be fucking need to crazy buy more people to do things and then you have to do translation and localization i'm through. pretty i'm true, pretty hopeful but... about gen 9 to be honest because they they did put two different teams on the past two games oh yeah so it, I'm it, thinking Gen it's Nine not going to be like game of the year material, but it's it's got to be something, you it's know. It's got to be okay. Decent, you know? Just the fact that it's open world is insane to me. Like I still can't wrap my head around. Like there's got to be some barrier. I'm I'm waiting for it because oh, that sounds yeah, so I cool. Mean, the barrier is going to be like it was in in Legends Arceus, I think. So like in Legends Arceus, you know how like you could enter the the Obsidian Fieldlands like the first area, but if you go too far off, all of a sudden there's like a giant Snorlax. There are like yeah, these, Ursa, like, yeah. Just, these Pokemon that you just straight up can't beat. Mm-hmm. That could be the barrier because that's how they do it in every other open world game. Is like the enemies are just too strong for you. Yeah, so you can I, go I would there. Love that. You know, but you Bring shouldn't. On. I, I love that on. because then you can just wander around and get a full team. Like, that was one of the nicest things about Arceus, is that I could go to any area, I mean, in, in just the first zone, and I think Scarlet and Violet's gonna be the whole map that you can wander around. Um, but, you know, within the first zone, you could go to all of these different places, even without Basculin, and get, like, such, like, a huge, there's like, a lot of variety in what Pokemon you could catch, and I really love that. I was really hoping there'd be more, like, skips, like, you can hop this river if you, like, do yeah. this specific thing. I was hoping there'd be, like, speedrunning tricks. Me too. I was really hoping that there would be some way to break it, but as far as I know, you can only, like, kind of clip out of bounds and it doesn't really do anything. I did use wanna... that one skip to get to Gumi before I got Basculin, because I really you, wanted to use you, Gumi. Uh, yeah, I remember you telling me about that. <laughs> wanna... I was like, oh, I might actually try that, because you, you know, like, I... launch yourself or something. I think yeah. that, um, I think that legends arceus was better received from non pokemon fans than it was pokemon fans funny enough because yeah, be i've heard from a lot of pokemon fans that they like i know joe personally wasn't into it mm-hmm. um but like i was into it mainly because i just play like other games beyond pokemon yeah more than i play pokemon mm-hmm. like I'll, i'm I, I used to do a lot more like fallout style games like mm-hmm. um like urban world shit first person yeah so like, I think that people who aren't used to, like, the tedium of a Pokemon game where you just, here's the gym, there's the thing, there's the... And, like, if they if you were that kind of, like, video game fan, then you'll, like, get into Legends Arceus quicker. Because for me, even though I'm, like, a big Pokemon fan and I'm not, like... And, and like, I play other games, I did have to break, like, that mindset of, like, what a Pokemon game's supposed to be. Oh, yeah. I literally, like, was going and, like, catching all these, like, Pokemon... And like just running around, I'm like, I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. And then I'm like, oh, the point is to catch more than one of these. I have to catch more than one, you know? Yeah, yeah. And the the gameplay is the catching, which is the weird part that I didn't get at first. Mm-hmm. Catching is supposed to be the gameplay. And I'm like, oh. And like when, later on when you practically have boss fights while you catch stuff. Yeah. Like two Alpha Ursa Ring or something. Like that was <laughs> cool. Like I like that you get better at movement in the game. Mm-hmm. What I want from uh, Gen 9 is to have like an... <laughs> Like the the acro bike from like uh like mock bike or something from like uh like Gen three and Gen four, but like there's mm. movement tech for it. So like yes. this tech is technically like an like a more advanced way to move, and it's like you you go like way quicker than you normally would. Like uh yeah. some like Mario sixty four like jump dive long jump shit. I need the roller skates back, and I need to jet set radio across the terrain. (laughs) 
Or like, uh... Like how in Mario Odyssey, you can just, like, roll on the ground and just, like, go really far. Yeah! Um, Something like that. Just, like, some form of movement tech where it's, like, yeah, I'm better than the average player because I'm gonna be able to... I'm... I know how to do this very, like, somewhat simple thing, but, like, it's, like, a Dude, little bit more harder I... to execute, uh, but I'm going oh across God, the map. Wave yeah, in Pokemon. That, that's how I am in, like, Metroid games. Like, when I when I start, like, it's, it has to be 2D Metroid, because if you don't know, I'm a huge 2D Metroid fan. I yeah. like it more than I like Pokemon, personally. Right. Um, mm. When I play, like, a 2D Metroid game, and, like, I know how to do all the wall jumps and stuff from the beginning, because I'm, like, a, a, a veteran of the series... That feels so crazy. Like, I really want Pokemon to have that kind of skill curve. Because, yeah, we can, like, learn about stab and all these, like, hidden mechanics. The movement is, like, where you feel awesome with it, you know? But what, yeah, but what about the, the, the end game, you know? Not, like, in battle, but in the overworld. I want movement tech, dude. I want to be able to BLJ across the map. Is that, <laughs> yeah, I mean, is, is that, is that, is that the, mer is that too much to ask, Game Freak? Yeah. Is there, I mean, I beat there Legends Arcus been... and I still go back to play it. Has there ever been like a JRPG like menu style combat with movement tech? I don't think that exists. Xenoblade kind of maybe possibly. Kind of maybe possibly. On God? I, I can see Pokemon being like big with that. Yeah. Because like you're right. There, it, when you separate half the game into oh you're, you're in a menu and half the game into oh you're in an overworld like Mm -hmm. The overworld might seem more boring since you have less options compared to in the menu. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah, dude, I can't wait to skidoo dash. Skidoo dash, <laughs> yeah! Yeah! I miss skidoo. He's I a silly little guy. I guess it's also, like, another thing I didn't really like, uh, like about most open world games is a lot of them don't have, like, movement stuff. It's like, like Breath of the Wild has, like, the, the, the whistle running, but that's just to preserve the, like, your, your stamina. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like you're going faster because you're doing something. You're just yeah. going at running speed. If and it, like, with, I mean, you, have you seen BLJs? That shit's kind of cool. BLJs? That, I, I'm no, wrong thing. Wrong thing. Yeah. BLJ. Fucking, okay. Sounds like, like three called? things. My brain said like speed running tech, and I just said BLJ. Uh, the yeah, the wind long, bombs. Yeah. yeah, but doesn't it like wind bombs? Hmm. I guess yeah. Uh, when you cut down a tree, yeah, but but like chop it up. No, no, no. Yeah, no I'm like, we're talking about like when you put down one of the bombs and then you put down another bomb and you fly across the map. But the thing is, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing about that is, it's still like I don't know. You got to progress through the game to get it like somewhat, and that like yeah. When open world is the main point of the game, I feel like that should be something you should be able to access right out the box. Well, well, that's kind of mm. the thing. I think Breath of the Wild just like. It's one of those games that you're not supposed to it's replay because it resets you after the boss and then you can just run around. Um, I think Breath of the Wild has like the perfect tutorial because it gives you a wide open area for you to get used to wandering around and for you to, you know, slowly learn about the, the tech and stuff, you know, the different uh, abilities from the Sheikah Slate. And then they set you off and you're like, holy shit, there's so much more I can do. It wasn't just, you know, this little area. That's sick. Um, but then the problem with that is that if you're replaying it, you're like, I already know how to do this, let me go. Um, for speedrunning, it's really, like, mostly get through the tutorial as fast as possible. Like, th this is where, like, a new game plus option would be pretty great. But, uh, you know, that's just not how it is. Maybe in Breath of the Wild 2. I'm very excited for that game. To take it back to Pokemon, same, definitely same here. Pokemon, mm -hmm. Breath of the Wild 2 is gonna be amazing. I need to be the first one. <laughs> To take it back to Pokemon, though, uh, what I'm really curious about Gen 9-wise, especially when we're talking about, like, like overworld and, like, movement and all that, I feel like Arceus, Marcos was right, right? It was, like, very catching-focused, very mm -hmm. catching-centric. So it's like, we know there's going to be overworld battles. What the hell is that going to look like? Yeah, like, I think it's going to be, like... It's going to be like Arceus, where it's like a seamless transition, but I don't think we're going to have the throwing Pokeballs from, like, hiding in the bush, which sucks. And I only think that because they haven't shown it yet, and the only catching Pokemon they've shown is, like, a transition from a battle scene into the Pokemon going into the ball. Uh, mm -hmm. So there's hope, but I don't think they're going to do that throwing Pokeball action, which honestly was, like, the most fun bit about Arceus, was that if you don't want to battle a Pokemon, you don't have to. My guess, yeah. though, is that, like... 
you walk up to a Pokemon, you hit them, and it just, like, swaps straight into battle. Am I tripping, or did they not have, like, the throwing Pokeballs as an option in huh? the overworld? Like, Arceus-style, like, running around with a Pokeball out, ready to throw it. They haven't shown any of that yet. No, I don't um, Well, they do show that your yeah, starters maybe. follow you in the overworld, so yeah. it might be that your starter is just already out the whole time. Yeah, or if you have a Pokemon walking with you, they just go into battle. Yeah. Which I hope so, because what sucks is that watching the trailer and for all the bits that they show the walking with Pokemon, it looks like it still has the fucking issue from Sword and Shield where they are too slow. Oh my god. And they yeah. don't catch up to you, and that bugs me so much because it is not that hard to just tie the Pokemon model directly behind you. Just I, I, <laughs> Certain Pokemon, it bugs me, but I also kind of like the... I, I don't know. I like the immersion of, yeah, Sligu is very slow. <laughs> yeah, it, it, like, it's funny. Like, I like that. You definitely do it for certain ones, but yeah. like, I, I, like... I, I have faith. I have faith. I feel <laughs> like even they knew the Sword Shield yeah, one. Yeah, I, I hope so. Stupid, you know, like... <laughs> game footage, not final moment. Ha um, have y'all seen the, uh, the, the video of Meltan? walking <laughs> yeah he cannot i mean i have one yeah he, he doesn't move <laughs> he is so slow he i goes, mean now that you think about it they had the they they had that set for uh let's go like let's go pikachu and eevee the running was right behind you yeah i mean it was the and same like, in yeah. dsp like so if you were walking it they would be slow and they wouldn't yeah. catch up to you and like it got to a point where sometimes you would run like you you would walk and they'd be slow, but if you ran and they caught up to you, they would stick behind you if you just, like, kept Yeah, running. but that's only with some Pokemon. Yeah. For me, if I had, like, a slower Pokemon behind me, I would run, they'd be off the yeah. screen, they'd teleport to me, I'd run, they'd be off the screen, they'd teleport. And it was just like, I just yeah. want to take a nice little stroll with my Meg Cargo, and instead he is teleporting. <laughs> That just reminds me of, like, that one meme where it's like, I meet someone, <laughs> I meet someone, <laughs> they follow behind me, they slow down, they teleport behind me. Yeah. <laughs> I need someone. Please. I just want to walk with my little guys. I love them so. You know what? I don't. I'm Make sorry. Bold prediction. Uh, I, I, I do not like my little guys. I'm, I'm beginning to think I no. hate my little guys. <laughs> no! Make a very bold prediction about Gen 9. I think the mm -hmm. overworld's gonna have, like, secrets and shit. I hope so. Yeah. Listen, Michael. Uh, they all have secrets. Shit. Crown, Tun Crown Tundra exploration was secrets, fun. Michael. Finding, like, the, the Reggie temples and stuff like that. I hope that they have more stuff like that. They've Michael. done it before in the 2D ones, where it's like, there's an item behind the, the waterfall type shit. Yeah. I feel like we're gonna get that. Mm -hmm. But in 3D. What up, what up Marcos? What's Don't that? leave me here. Was that, what? was that, like, not no, already a thing in, like, Sword and Shield and, like, BD? Not like, really. Like, Sword and Shield's no. routes felt very open. There were a couple, like, like there were a couple routes I remember, like, the one that's, like, an icy ocean area. Oh, no, I or, meant, like, you like, see more, like, wild area stuff, right? Yeah, for wild area, it felt very open. It, it felt like there wasn't any, like, caves or, like, things you had to look for, except for in the yeah. DLC. The DLC The DLC was started doing it with, like, those little, like, connecting caves type shit. Mm hmm That, those were cool. Yeah. Where it's like, oh, what's, you could throw me anywhere and I'd be like, oh, where am I? <laughs> yeah. But with the, with the wild area, it felt very much, like, there were details in there. I liked that there were different biomes and stuff, but it was very much a big field with some rocks in it. <laughs> Yeah, what's oh, what's a good game comparison? Because like, there's definitely some open world games where, that are like, yo, you know, if you turn left there instead of right, you go to this one little area that looks cool. There's nothing fucking there, but it looks really cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That Breath of the Wild did that. Um, yeah, Shadow. Well, that's of the, the only open world game I've played. Marcus, uh, no, Marcus, Marcus, Michael. What? Okay, you want to you want to explain you want to expl close enough. You want to explain to me why you put an entire reading of Sun Tzu's Art of War into the topics <laughs> channel. Uh, <laughs> why was that there? Pass. What do you mean pause? <laughs> I want to know. Listen, I'm not sober enough to like. Oh yeah, you were gone last all of night. What I yeah, yeah, last night it was epic. We watched uh, Princess Bride. Do you remember any of it? Nope. Uh, 
Banger movie, uh, by the way. Sun Tzu, Art of War, though. For VGC players, this is the most cringe gamer take I will ever have in my entire what? life. Give it a watch. Kind of hype. I'm, I'm not it, or watching the or whole something. thing. It's just like... This movie does not go hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, No. How as long a movie, is this? it doesn't. As it's an, an audio hour book, and 13 minutes. I've not listened to the whole thing. I've only gotten halfway through. But throw that on on the way back from work to stay awake. <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of interesting. It puts me in like, yeah. oh, I, I'm getting new team building ideas and like <laughs> philosophies and shit. Oh, cool. How, Michael? All, go to your room. What? I'm in my room. Based on deception. Yeah, like, don't come out. <laughs> oh, I think he's kind of based for this. You're banned from the podcast for saying don't, any of that don't, sentence. Don't strike your opponent first if you're not some whatever the fuck he was talking about. I also don't remember anything he said. In this part, I just remember it <laughs> hey guys, this is so if, cool. If you should listen to it. Cleric, I don't remember. If your opponent is of cleric temperament, seek to irritate them. Never trust yeah. a Taco Bell fart on Steal God. Steal the hats. <laughs> that's, that's the never trust a Taco Bell fart on God. <laughs> Sun Tzu, Art of War. <laughs> Sun Tzu. Good quote. Good quote. <laughs> I need that image. I need that image with a nice photo of Sun Tzu. Quote, no, what was it? Like, I it has to have the, the word on well. God. On God, don't trust a Taco Bell fart. Yep. <laughs> one of the quotes was like really inspirational. Let me see if I could. Yeah, here I got it. It is, my, it is my favorite uh, Sun Tzu quote. Steal their hats. Steal their hats. <laughs> it's uh, it's not. It's not. Uh, there we go. I put it. <laughs> steal their hats. <laughs> Why? Hold on. Let me see this. Why are you stealing their? Ha- oh, it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, Brian, David, Brian Gilbert. David Gilbert. <laughs> Dude, it is crazy to me. Skilled fighter. Sorry. Oh yeah. no, you go. You go. The skilled fighter puts himself into a position which makes defeat impossible and does not miss the moment for defeating the enemy bar for you <laughs> it's a bar i mean yeah it adds up so um, if she so leaves you, you for another there is always her mother sun Tzu. always trust to talk about farts <laughs> for they have temperance <laughs> temperance it's it's like some like uh what do you call it anime was a mistake shigeru me murder <laughs> head, head of Sony. <laughs> yep. Head of Sony. Okay. And it has a picture of Masahiro Sakurai. Yeah. <laughs> no, I've been, that's real good. Listen, actually, <laughs> I've not been playing. Listen, I've not been playing VGC recently, mm-hmm. but I have been thinking about VGC, and I think thinking about playing Pokemon is way more fun than playing. Pokemon. Yeah. No. Exactly. Unless yeah, you're doing like a we know. I. Been, we know. <laughs> I've been thinking about VGC, dude. I've been thinking about it. Am I gonna make a video? Maybe. Maybe. No, not. you're based, dude. Brady, you saw an image of Palkia and Groudon hugging, and then made the team with them, and I think that's <laughs> yeah. so based. I was like, Ooh, funny, funny image of making team. <laughs> They're lesbians. They're lesbians. Smile. Just like the Reggies. <laughs> Just like the Reggie. What did, what did we oh, decide yeah, that way, Reggie Ma- Rock and Reggie Ra- uh, Ice are in love, and then Reggie Steele is homophobic? Yep. <laughs> I th- I think I think everybody would agree that Reggie Steele is homophobic. Homophobic. <laughs> yeah. he, um. Home of the phobia. <laughs> Why would you be scared of houses? <laughs> <laughs> It's just like a I, um, it's a haunted mansion. It's like a haunted mansion that they have for like Halloween. It's called the Home of Phobia. <laughs> <laughs> that would be really good, actually. Do not interact with my son. He has every disease. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of a bit I saw of what is your great greatest fear? I'm arachnophobic. What? Why don't you want spiders to get married? <laughs> Bruh. What the fuck? That's me. That's me. I hate spiders. No! I hate them. Me too. Put her there. Put her there. Put her there. Big yeah. fan. Shake. Spiders are high. I actually, I actually no, do enjoy the company of a spider or two. Ugh, freak. Dude, they just eat all the mosquitoes for you. It's hype. I'm yeah, not what are you, some kind of in like skeeter? seven years. You don't like skeeter deleters? Like skeeter deleters. <laughs> I would, I would take. Are you fighting okay, yeah. on the side of the Skeeters, bro? Okay, okay, to be, Dude, to I be think fair. COVID killed this, all the mosquitoes. Like, the, I haven't seen one in years. Michael's joined the Skeeter War on the side of the Skeeters. The I'm, a, I'm a certified Skeeter, bro. <laughs> certified Skeet. 
It's just seven like, days a week. It's just like a circuit, but Ugh. like it has Michael's face on it. <laughs> circus kid is not a mosquito. What? Yeah, it's a skeeter. <laughs> no, but he's a skeeter. Certified skeet. Seven days. He's a week. skater. He was a skater boy. He said, "See you later, boy." <laughs> so true. He was a skater boy. To he Mariah said, Carey. "See you later, boy." Literally. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Is that Mariah Carey? I don't know who sings Skater Boy. What? I what? Levine, what? <laughs> I Michael, I need you to so. apologize. <laughs> what are you, Dude, what are you, you have no saying? idea. He said Mariah Carey sang Skater Boy. No, I, I fucked up. Mariah Carey invented Christmas. That's the one. Yeah, that's, that's, that's who you're thinking of, yes. You know, I if for a minute I thought Michael was going to say something dumb, but he said something completely true. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm right about that. I just, my my... My memory, you gotta shuffle it around a little bit before the papers are organized, you know what I'm saying? Dude, I totally get it. Every day I'm shuffling, like, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Why have you been transported into 2012? What's happening right now? <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> Every day I'm shuffling is crazy. What the fuck? COVID? Gas prices? What are you talking about? LMFAO just released their new single. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's shuffling, dude. Everybody. Dude, Psy just dropped his hit song. No, get a shuffle now. Psy's hit song. No, do the Harlem Shake. Oh Psy's my hit God. song, Shuffle or I'm Calling the Police. <laughs> I need one of those, oh, like. Hell. Gun to your head, what song do you have to recite exactly? And if you mess up, they'll shoot you. It's just fucking every day I'm shuffling. Wonder and you have to do... It's all the lyrics. Now listen, y'all don't understand that I didn't have... I didn't have music when I was your age. So when what? I was... When I was learning music, I didn't learn the names of anybody or anything. So now I didn't I'm either. I'm bigger brained. I just knew about it from the internet. Yeah, like, Mariah Carey, Avril Lavigne, those might as well be the same person in my head. Okay. No, no, they are not. I hate to break Google. <laughs> they're they're the most opposite people, I think. My experience. How old is music, Avril Lavigne? When I was younger, was my father listening to fucking Foo Fighters and Red Hot Chili Peppers? Oh, that's based. my mom listening to ABBA and Pink, which is that's pretty based. Well, that's why he hates I, ABBA. I, I no no no. I I love ABBA. Abba's oh cool. no, it's pink. You don't. I like fucking pink. hate pink. I hate that <laughs> shit. Bro, I'd be going on like a two-hour drive with my mom to go visit some relatives, and she just fucking puts it on fucking loud. <laughs> I hate pink. Maybe pink hates you. Everything about that, buddy. I mean, huh, pal? I am a man. That makes sense. Maybe he's just a little hater. I love pink. I got a pink hat. That's so based to you, I think. I have yeah. a pink. I, I, I know pink. I'm, I, pink. I, 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 I'm sorry, but I have personal trauma with pink. <laughs> You've been pink. personally victimized by the color pink. <laughs> pink. Pink. Pink killed my grandma, okay? <laughs> I need that. I need that. That's, I mean, it's not that different than what he said. It's... Wasn't it like dancing killed my no, grandma? No, he said music killed my grandma. Music made her lose control? No, singing killed my grandma. That's what it was. Singing killed my grandma. Music made me lose control. Lose control. Music I, made I, you I, lose control. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. New music I episode love, where I we just sing. Beer. The Triforce. He's like... <laughs> because gaming killed my grandma. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not the gaming. Oh. Can we... I love my grandma. Can, can we talk about... How uh, my Jenning analogy, the person that I used as an example. Oh, yeah! As like, that oh, they, oh yeah, real. that person isn't real, is actually real. Yeah. Yeah, I met him. Okay, so, like, okay, so if. What? That's pretty cool, dude. He's pretty, He's pretty okay. based. <laughs> so, I, um, so if. He's if my friend but, now. For for people who oh, don't know, I've always been making this uh, analogy about uh, being anti -gen uh, genning as um is the essentially the same as getting mad at somebody for bringing their own snacks to the cinema because they don't want to pay for overpriced snacks. Yeah, 
and I I equiv- equivalize people who are anti uh, equivocate an- a- a- equate equating it. It's like uh, equivocate equivocate. Equi- all right, that's about the word. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so He's got so a it's PhD. like we can't argue this not anymore. not liking Jenning is the same as not liking people bringing snacks to the cinema. Yeah. yeah uh, so apparently that person is real. Yeah, that tweet's insane. So there's a tweet here, um, and it reads, uh, she's a 10, but she sneaks snacks inside movie theaters. Um, and then he goes on a spiel, it's, it's like, <laughs> y'all don't even understand what the hell I'm saying. <laughs> y'all motherfuckers ruining capitalism by doing this shit like that, and y'all don't even <laughs> give a fuck. It's when like, I bring my own jelly beans and I've ruined capitalism. <laughs> As it's like, him, officer. He ruined capitalism by bringing his movie theater snacks in on his own. <laughs> dude, he's ruining capitalism by Jenning Mons. Oh my god, dude. Dude, did you know that Jenning Mons is the same as being naked in public? Damn, uh, that's crazy. Damn. That's, I like just that's... making like the worst analogies for things. It's yeah, like, dude, how things. can you not like mayo on a sandwich? Not liking mayo on a sandwich is like running over a dog five times with your car. <laughs> He's kind of spit. Specifically. <laughs> and just to like make, just to make him sound so fucking like decrepit and like fucked up. <laughs> yeah, dude, like, uh, like a running hypnosis <laughs> on, a, on a fucking guy tail is, is just like bombing a third world country. Come oh on, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, you can't like, say that. <laughs> but like, it, it just like progressively gets worse. It's I like, need. Yeah. I need. You just to... keep on escalating it. Like you just have to be like. Uh, at some point, you just have to look at the person and be like, uh, "No, it isn't." I, I'm just like. <laughs> but the question is, when do you say it? It isn't. Uh, when is the, the when is the line crossed? Did I cross the line today? Your humor is just dark and, and awesome, Brady. You know. Uh, I f- I fucking uh, I I I hate motherfuckers that are like I'm into <laughs> dark humor and when they say the fucking end slurs word. yeah just say slurs <laughs> they say slurs and it's like oh, I'm into dark humor I don't um, I'm not into the work humor that people is and that the work humor that they're talking about is just like absurdist like twitter shit like yeah um, who are <laughs> eating they beans or something <laughs> When when who are playing with a worm? Like that. Comment down below and if you down below if you're playing with mm, your worm. I don't subscribe to liberal memes like that boy. <laughs> Yours, <laughs> <bro. Bruh. What? laughs> Yours, liberal. Checkmate, liberals. That's uh, uh, well. <laughs> oh fuck it! I was I was gonna do like a Ben Shapiro voice, but it's like well. <laughs> I didn't even know what I was gonna say. I just to say <laughs> just well, I I had a thought and then it left instantly. <laughs> you know that unicycle dap boy road? What? Yes. Yeah. Got a grand revelation about it, buddy. Yeah, dude, it's not a bike. It's a unicycle. I just realized that. Yeah. Wait, what? You didn't it, know? It, that? You, it's a unicycle. What? Yeah. It's well, a unicycle. Point. You that thought was it was a point. bike? I thought it was a. I it, it was has a one wheel. Michael! It's so old now. It's so old now that in my memory I thought that was a bike. Uh, and then someone said unicycle, and I was like, whoa, that's not a bike. <laughs> whoa, that's not a bike. Whoa. <laughs> kind of a hot take there, bud. You gotta be careful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry for the controversial opinion. <laughs> the, the liberal left will, will have you hold know up, that's, up, that's up, not a up. bike. <laughs> that's not a bike. That's that's crazy. It's a spaceship. <laughs> Oh, moon. <laughs> I'm like quoting Star Wars. I've never seen Star Wars. <laughs> That's like also Fart Wars. Yeah, I've I've also never most. seen Star Wars. Like I actually. haven't either. That's fucked up. Apparently, I get I get crucified for my Star Wars takes, where it's like I I the only Star Wars movies that I remember are the newer ones. <laughs> the only Star Wars I, movies Tough. I remember is like the 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 pre the, the like the. Fuck! I'm losing my words. Help! Um, the 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 prequel trilogy. That's the that's the only ones I've like uh, remotely seen anything for, and it was like it was just based off of like people in my family watching it and me not paying attention. Oh yeah, I feel like that's a lot of people's relation to Star Wars. I only kind of knew about it because my dad was a big fan, and then I just never watched the movies all the way through. Hey, uh, dad. 
it's not not a, not a bad way to go because those yeah. movies I don't remember shit. From them, so. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, I would. Oh no, yeah. You go. Uh, I, I was I was uh, I thought you know maybe I uh I, I bring up a, a cool little video a cool little video that you might like me and Ash have already watched it. Have you uh, seen the Mandela magazine? <laughs> uh, no. By Sapeller. I know your name because I'm your mother! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we need to show you this video just for later. Um, um, watch this video, it's very awesome. It's a parody of the Mandela catalog, but it's like... Um, it's got some good bits. It's, um... What do you call it? It's, uh, it's Sapellified if you... Do. I mean, you know Sapeller. Right? I don't. You know Sapello? The, the guy no. the, the guy who made fucking um the the the, the it's, it's a spooky month. Spider Man oh. Yeah, him. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanna put it in in Nerds General, have fun. Hi 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 podcast listeners. Uh I'm sorry I'm having genuine conversation with friend in middle of podcast, but it's not engaging. Hi. This entire podcast is just a conversation. Yeah, that's that's what it is. So that's okay. When is it not? <laughs> in the meantime, I would like to draw your all all your attention to the topics channel in which someone loaded up showdown on a life fitness treadmill at the gym. <laughs> no, that's right. That's right. <laughs> That's me. Perk. Y'all ever load up Showdown on the hotel room TV? Oh, fuck perk, yeah. Perk, perk. That's living right there. Perk, I'm on Showdown on this, like, random, like, devices, like a smart fridge, or, like, loading up Perk, I'm on Showdown on, like, the in fucking- the Tesla. Like, the, in the Tesla, in yeah. The Tesla. That was funny. That was a good one. That's, like, always the greatest thing. It's like, oh, yeah, we gotta practice for the fucking regional air. Who got a oh, Tesla? Oh, no, you know what I- You know what I- Let's, let's actually out. talk about that. I don't understand people that are playing Showdown right before the regional starts. Like, what do you think you're doing? Yeah, all you all you're doing with that is psyching yourself out. At least that's how it works for me. I always get psyching like psyching yourself out. Sad. And like, if you lose a game, you started tilting before the tournament started. Like, bro, yeah, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> me too. Me too. People might just have stronger minds than I do. Same. And I'm I'm fine with that. I've I've sort of come around recently on the fact that you know I. I am very likely never going to be the, like, be good, like, considered, like, top level in most games. So it's like, you know, I think I'd rather just, like, focus on trying to have fun as opposed to just, like, winning or, like, improving. Or like, you just adopt the same mindset that I adopted and that esports is kind of cringe. Video <laughs> games are just kind of cringe, to be honest. Yeah. Going into a tournament. Hey Marcos, don't non- you play Pokemon to make money? Yeah, esports is cringe. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like you know, uh, like maybe except for Pokemon, I think this is more like a fighting game, Smash related sort of thing. It's mm. like I'm fine being like low to mid level in like in any video game. I just want to be able to have fun with friends, you know. Just like, Look, anytime I, I face someone better than me in a video game, I get to just pretend like I didn't want to beat them anyways and that they're too good at the game because they had too much free time. <laughs> Listen, like, just, just do that. Yeah, just, it's a very you, healthy mindset. If you go into any <laughs> tournament setting or even just like a local or like an online tournament just thinking like, <laughs> you know, I don't really care. I, I always do way better if I'm not like putting pressure on myself to get a certain record. Yeah. Fun oriented, not results oriented. The mm-hmm. best. Yeah. yeah. I'm never gonna forget Brady losing his mind last night in call at, at somebody playing Smash Brothers while he's literally winning the game and he's like, hey. This is so lame, I'm not having fun. Fuck you. Was this ah! the yeah. Meanwhile, the same guy that Brady was playing, the same guy that Brady was playing four stocks me back to back and and at the end of both games I'm like the only word I say is damn GG's yeah, put it back. I mean, <laughs> like, yeah, because of this like whole mindset of I'm playing this to have fun and not to win. I'm just trying to have fun and I want to see cool sick shit in fucking Melee, the greatest video game ever. <laughs> like, you know, I'm 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 trying to see sick shit and you know, I I I get my friend to, you know, download a, a mod, uh, it's called the Arcanea build for Smash Bros. Melee. It adds some characters, adds some stages. Um and he picks Diddy Kong. Uh and uh, it turns out Diddy Kong is like the lamest fucking character in that entire video game. 
Um, what? And he's My dude picked Roy and four stocked me. The low tier. <laughs> And I said, run it back. My brain is made of steel. <laughs> I'm, made of I'm, fine with the, I'm fine with the Roy because the Roy is, all, uh, the Roy is a, like a, is a low tier. And like, and you know, I, I can, I can handle Roy. He's not, he, it's, it is my game now. He's in my world and I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Joel. Wow. <laughs> and you find out that presence. Samoa Joel. <laughs> <laughs> and then you find You're out in that. my game now. That, that presence was Minecraft Steve. And he he's in, he wants to make your world his, and now he's coming to kill you. <laughs> um, <laughs> but like he's in my world now, and if I lose, that's on me. Um, if I'm playing against Diddy Kong, like an actually really good character, is just like fucking super lame. It's like damn, I'm just not having fun. I don't want to play. <laughs> Smash Bros like, is the best with four players' items heat. on. True. I. He, I'm I'm party now game in... being party game. Fuck yeah. Yeah, like, and and I've sort of taken that approach of ultimate as well because like I I'm starting to think I my whole journey of playing Smash Four and Smash Ultimate is ultimately just like bro, ultimately ultimately no pun intended was just like a journey to say hey stop being a pussy bitch learn how to L cancel <laughs> and deal with the buffer and play melee because this game's fucking sick and it's like okay <laughs> cool. I'm I'm just, down to be honest. Just play. If the I ever game. write a Sun Tzu's Art of War style biography or whatever, I the need fuck Michael you MJ it. last name to write the Art of War too. It's gonna be <laughs> titled "How to Not Think." <laughs> that is a very valuable. Skill. You're getting lamed out by Diddy Kong in melee, who's not even supposed to be there. Just don't think forehead. <laughs> it's, a, it's like it's like the it's, it, it's a Sun Tzu out of war, but it's like by Michael, and it's like <laughs> you, you status moves. <laughs> <laughs> you status moves. They're if really you good. Status your this opponent. Like, you will guarantee victory. <laughs> this is like telling someone, "Oh, just get good, but like better." <laughs> Literally. <laughs> no, I'm dead ass though. Like learning how to not think is like kind of a really cool thing. Shit, it is. Some shit's going, some shit's going down, bro. No thoughts. Mm -hmm. No thoughts. Head empty. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Picking up what I'm putting empty down. Empty your mind. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Because then when you empty your mind, you can fill it with all the cool shit instead of all the bad shit. Yeah, on God. On God, God for real. On. Be just like me for He's... real. On sheesh. On sheesh, when on sheesh, on sheesh when brother. When life's sad, always remember happy time. Always remember. Remember happy time. Remember, ha yeah, I'm glad you knew what I was talking about. Always remember happy day. Yeah. <laughs> you know what, right? I think I think like three thoughts per day, honestly. <laughs> total. I think I have hey, problems. Tree beat, tree beat, in man. total, I have three thoughts. Three whole thoughts in my brain. Mm -hmm. One. Pussy. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Money. Money. <laughs> Three. Okay, it's a bit. You're just not saying. I thought you were just saying, like, you think of pussy because I said so. No. No, no. Brady's. Hey, Brady all, knows what I'm talking all, 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 I'm say all I'm saying is, uh, Pokemon is my illness and, uh, money's my cure. Um, <laughs> wow. Bars. Bars, honestly. Yeah, <laughs> and shake. That's funny. Uh, but uh, um, um, you know what else is my key, my you know made of a couple bars. Uh, you know who else is made of a couple bars? A, a couple. Who also a gives us money. A couple bars. <laughs> a couple. A couple bars, dude. A couple. Okay. What? Cappy. What are we talking about? A couple of bars for? Hold on. Well, like Cappy you know Call with you right now. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah no, I'm not, I'm not talking about Swole Man. I, I've, I haven't watched Jojo in Listen, a long time. Listen, I'm just time, saying, man. by the way, if there's any talented artists in the comment section that want to draw me as like a ripped fucking gigantic, like Incineroar style fucking that gigantic would... lion with big ass pecs, <laughs> I'm not complaining. <laughs> you can't just get our viewers to draw you as a Swole Man, Michael. I think I can do that, and you if it does happen, it. I'm gonna scream. <laughs> You gotta earn it. You can't just like, hey, yo, by the way, if anybody, like, you know, if anybody's 
interested. It's like, that would be crazy. Like, yeah, just, like, just like draw me as a like as a, as a swole guy. You know, it would be kind of crazy if somebody did that. You know, it's like a whole be a pretty cool Twitter profile <laughs> picture. Try, try, you're trying to like you're trying to like abate it. Um, you're just trying to bait them doing it. You know, that would be the fu- that would be the worst. You know, it's like reverse psychology. You know, I. I would, it would be awful if you guys subscribed. Uh, dude, that would be so bad. It would be so bad if you subscribed to the Patreon, yeah, oh. dude. Dude, that would be that would be awful. I think if you, you should, fucking hate I us, think... you should definitely subscribe. But also, if you love us, you should also uh, uh, rule of thumb: subscribe. Two of us hate money. The other two love money. So if you want to piss off two of us, donate money. If you want to love two of us, <laughs> one hit nurse just on thumb. any Pokemon. If you want to, if you want to piss me off, you usually have two. <laughs> so um, if you really want to piss me off, draw me as a bar of friend. <laughs> if you if you really want to upset Michael, here's what you gotta do. Find a picture of Michael from high school and draw him as though he was a bar of Irish Spring soap. True. Irish Spring smell kind of good. Just like an Irish Spring soap with like, like long, messy hair and like a goatee and glasses, and just be like Michael soap, Michael soap. You put you put the make glasses, him... the goatee on, on with the long hair. You could make any character me. That's all yeah. it takes. If I ever make a game, I'm like. Wait, honestly, Michael, if we turn you into a bar of soap, you'll never have to deal with the Smash community for the rest of your life. <laughs> True. That's crazy. Undefeated versus all Smash. Damn, players. I can't, can't believe I'm not going to be able to see Michael again. Yeah, because yes. you smell like garbage. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right, what the fuck? Brady is Old Spice. I was kidding. It was a bit. It was a bit. That was so him. mean. Drop, drop Brady is Old Spice. Ash is going to be Dr. Squatch. And me, yeah. I'm head and shoulders. <laughs> fuck Because yeah. I'm head and shoulders above the rest of them. Bam. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> and that's on sheesh. I'm going to cry. <laughs> I, I, I fucking hate you, Michael. I also hate you, Mark. I love you. I'm kidding. I hate. Okay. I hate all. I, I, okay, I don't hate Ash because she didn't do anything wrong. Yeah. Uh, my my buddy had a thing that he used to say when people had made fun of like people who don't wash their butt, right? <laughs> I think you know how people are like wash your ass. Like people would say that. Mm. My buddy would be like, I wash my ass with a bar of soap like it's a credit card, and that got chip. <laughs> no. No, no, no! I don't like that. No, I don't like that implication. No, no. What? So it's we're not like... the short one podcast anymore. Stop. Ew. <laughs> when were one. we? <laughs> we had a pee pee poo poo episode. Oh yeah, <laughs> we did. Yeah. Um. So real Patreon hours. Um. Uh, we might have you. just lost all of them. <laughs> <laughs> thank you to Crazy Carlton, Ken Marker, Paloma, Professor Gems, Ryan, and Turdra uh, for subscribing Woo! to the Patreon, as well as everybody else. Um, Let's you. fucking go! Thank you very much. Um, the, Those people, they wouldn't run Hypnosis on, like, unnecessary Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, they're not good at the game. Dude, I'm surprised when wow. you... Damn. Damn. <laughs> I'm surprised when you... <laughs> When you were running a Loyal and Executor, you didn't, like, run Hypnosis out of spite instead of running Sleep Powder. <laughs> I would never I... run Hypnosis out of spite. I only run it because it's optimal. <laughs> it isn't. It isn't. All right. It isn't. I got a blast. <gasps> I eat beef. <laughs> Go eat All right. beef. All right, eat brief. Brief. Uh, yeah. Thank Go you, eat, pa- eat beef. people, Patreons. Be, be... Street I don't know, man. Um, goodbye, Street Fighter. Goodbye. <laughs> eat your beef, Patreons. And Unless you're commenters. vegetarian, then eat your beans. But if you are vegan, you actually have to eat the meat. I, that's, that's fucked the up. <laughs> that's fucked up.